and welcome to this episode of the Knitting in Them podcast. I think it's episode 28 in English, but I'm not sure. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, here I am again, I'm back. Um, this is a knitting podcast. I have it um, every other week. And the, the other week I have a weekly vlog for you. So uh, in that weekly vlog you'll see what I knit on uh, during the week and this uh, this podcast is uh, to tell you a show and tell what I knitted on. I'm mostly a knitter. Um, sometimes I uh, sew a little bit but it's mostly project bags because I love to do that and I'm a really um, yeah vintage thrift shopper. <laughs> I like always to see uh, search for the vintage things I have a cup of coffee in a lovely vintage mug. I have bought it in the thrift shop. And I have also a water in my lovely blue. It's blue today <laughs> because it's hot in the Netherlands. It's uh, Today it's going to be 27 or 26 degrees. It is Wednesday, 15 May. Um, so yeah, it's, it's warm, uh, blue skies. It was a love... Lovely weather, weather the last few days, days most I think the last two weeks. Uh, it was a good weather. It's always nice to sit uh, outside or um, yeah for the laundry. You can uh, hang it out in the yeah outside and it's dry in a few uh, minutes. <laughs> so yeah, that is uh, what's going on here. It is Wednesday, I think I said it already, and um, yeah, I'm going to tell you all about what I knitted on the last two weeks. It is a little bit uh, yeah, strange because of the hot weather. You don't have to, s yeah, the, the feeling gets a little bit different for for what what where do I want to knit on it? Um, I'm not a a garment knitter on this moment, um, so. And especially not summer garments. I don't wear knitted, um, yeah, tees or not yet. Maybe that will uh, come in the future. But on this moment in my life, I don't feel like it. I have it always very hot, too hot, quick, too hot. So I'm always wearing a normal t-shirt, and it has to be wide. And um, yeah, I'm a black girl person. I feel, yeah, I feel uh, that, that color, it's not really a color, but that suits me the best. <clears throat> so that's what I'm wear, wearing normally. Sometimes in the summer when it's really nice weather and you get a little uh, tan, I will change color, uh, maybe red or sometimes white, but uh, normally I wear a lot of black. And in the winter you can always put your nice shawls on, but now it's too hot, so uh, that is... Uh, yeah, I I, I knit uh, during the summer. Uh, mostly, I'm then I'm <clears throat> putting um, a van in front of me so that I, I'm not too hot because the woolly things are very warm in your hands. And yeah, you can choose to uh, knit a, a sock from um, how do you say that um, cotton. I hope you don't can't hear this. Oh, I, pa I pause a little bit, sorry. They're cleaning the streets with um, yeah, so, uh, m mowing the lawns. I don't know uh, if I say it right. And there is, uh, they were gone already, but uh, one of the boys uh, didn't, <laughs> didn't catch up with the rest. <laughs> I think he was lost. I think he's, you know, uh, walking away. So I can talk to you quietly, hopefully. So yeah, the, the, I have two finished objects this week. And it's a little bit uh, funny, but I have one of the finished objects are, is a hat. <laughs> it's really f too hot for a hat now, but uh, I was I started few, I don't know anymore, exactly anymore which date, but I started uh, to knit this hat and I was uh, around here and then it was a few weeks in my bag without knitting on it and two weeks ago I showed it in the in the podcast 
I was thinking, oh yeah, I can uh, go on with the head because I had a few nice scrappy colors. So that's what I did. And last time when I showed it, I think I was here. And then um, on a certain moment too, in this two weeks, I thought I uh, finished the head. It's uh, a free pattern, the sock head pattern from, uh, I don't know who it's from, but it's a free pattern. And the real pattern um, is longer because she makes them slouchy, but I didn't want to do that. I knitted it this in the round on two and a half millimeter needle and I changed colors every three rounds. So I did three rounds and then another color. So it knits up really quick because it's uh, always nice to see how the next color knits up. And then I did the, yeah, the decreases like you start at knit seven, decrease uh, Two to get, knit two together, then knit seven, and then uh, that, that, that's what you're doing the whole round. And then the second round is normal, and then uh, knit, knit, knit six, and then knit two together, and then the, fir the fir next round is again normal round, and then knit five, knit two together, and, and, and so on, so that you can you get a, like a little crown. Um, the head is for me, yeah, it's a little bit it's too hot, but I will show it anywhere. It is good for me, but it, yeah, it, it could a little bit um, less. I, I, I followed the pattern, uh, how many stitches, I don't know it from the top of my head. I always like, um, yeah, in, in the winter time, it has to cover your ears that's very important and your uh, front head because that's always yeah, the coldest part so that is what I did and um, it's now far too hot <laughs> too hot for the head but uh, it's finished and uh, when it's cold and uh, stormy I think this will be very nice especially with my black clothes and uh, I have a scrappy shawl like this so uh that's the that was the reason why i thought oh i can make a scrappy head from all the scraps that i have so that's my first finished object but uh yeah we don't need it on this moment it's too hot <laughs> i uh take a sip of my coffee and i'm uh I hope you have something to drink too, or tea, or a coffee, and uh, you listen to me for a while. <coughs> my second finished objects are my lovely purple, yeah, it's mostly purple pink sock. I've got two now. This one's not on the blocker because I wanted to show you how, yeah, it feels so good, this sock. I loved to knit on this. It was a surprisingly nice yarn i will show you um, again the ball band i have to search for the ball band it's in my birdie and poppet yeah spring bag these these bags are really good for socks uh, the dpn fits in really well this is the dpn sometimes it sticks uh, through the fabric but okay and this is the ball band, the Merino from Meilenweit, Rosanna, Merino Extra Fine. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> from uh, this brand, Lana Grossa. It's an Italian brand. I always thought it was German, but it's Italian. And I think because of the Merino, it's it feels really, really good it feels good it knitted up good good it knitted up surprisingly nice and uh, it was not um yeah it was super sock to knit on and i didn't do i think i started sock one i don't know which one is one anymore i think this was one i think uh, the end of march and now uh last week uh, nah, last week, I don't know exactly the date anymore. They were finished, so I'm very happy. The, I think this uh, is a sock I will wear when it's colder in the summer. I will choose to wear this because I think 
Yeah, those, yeah, this feels really nice. This was a surprisingly good sock yarn. So I will keep that in mind for, uh, yeah, for future sock projects. So that was uh, my second finished object. And that was the only two finished objects, but that's okay. Oh. Yeah, and so because of the hot weather, I um, I wanted to uh, knit on other things, but I thought um, I will quit some things first. So finish some things first. So I didn't um, cast on a new sock yet. I think that's really good for me because uh, now I have uh, three socks on my needles instead of five. And I'm trying to... Um, yeah, maybe I will cast on one new one this week, but we'll see that. And I knitted on this sock also. I think I'm. I have to do a few more rows, and then I can start the toe. This one I knit on two and a half millimeter needles. I did always cast on uh, 64 stitches, and the cuff is normally. I think this is. 14 centimeters, nay, no, sorry, four centimeters. Sometimes I count the rows and I do 16 rows or 14 rows. I think this is 16. Looks a little bit longer. And then I'm just doing the vanilla sock with a heel flap and gusset. I like that the most on this moment. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. So that's really nice. Yeah, and this is a thicker sock yarn than. Uh, a little bit thicker than the most socks. This is um, Stompagan from Lamy Yarns. I think it's a Dutch brand. Maybe you can Google it and see uh, if you can order this in your country. And this is color 12. So the first sock is nearly ready. I think I may, yeah, I will finish this today or this weekend. I don't know yet. I'm not in a hurry because it's hot, so uh, we don't need socks now. I I walk on flip flops on the moment, but I love the colors. Yeah, it suits it looks really nice. These are 50 gram balls, so you need two balls for two socks because this is what I have uh, left from the first ball, and I have to do a few rows and the toe. I think I have some leftovers, but not enough for a whole sock. That's normal because it's 50 gram, gram balls, so yeah. And that is in my fall bag. <laughs> Not because it's fall, but I love this bag. And uh, it's also from Birdie and Puppet. She's on Etsy. Uh, I will link her shop below when I think of it. Otherwise you can Google it, Bertie and Puppet. She's also on Instagram. But maybe you know her already. I love these little bags from her. These are uh, very nice for sock projects. So um, that's what I use for my socks. And that was sock number, sock, sock whip number one. Then I told you last time that I, um, yeah, I, I thought uh, in January. Oh, I will knit uh, also Christmas socks whole year through. So uh, last two weeks ago, I think I started it. I uh, have my lovely little um, project bag that I bought from Rosie Retro. She's also on Etsy. She's from England. And this one I got from my uh, youngest child for Christmas. That was a gift. And... Oh yeah, this is a lovely nutcracker. I think I bought this in London myself. I'm a really uh, London addict, England fan and London addict. I uh, go to London a few times. I try to do two times a year or uh, at least one time a year. And I've been there already more than 20 times. So, uh, so that's why I always love to buy things from UK sellers. This one I bought with it and um, and the DPN holder, but I don't know if it's here. No, it's not here any, 
on this moment. It's so still on the table because I am knitting a Christmas sock and it's on the heel flap. I'm halfway the heel flap so it doesn't fit in the, the DPN holder. I knit this on two and a half millimeter needles. These are short needles from Knit Pro. They, these were the first needles I ever bought. And um, yeah, 15 centimeters was not so handy because uh, when you start knitting socks, yeah, my, my uh, stitches fell off because it's so short. And uh, so I recommend when you start knitting socks, take the 20 centimeter DPNs. And when you're uh, better at sock knitting, you can always use the little ones. So now I can. And um, yeah, I was knitting on this sock yesterday uh, in my garden. But uh, yeah, after a few rounds, I don't, thought, no, it's too hot. I'm going to do something else. But yeah, so that's why I'm halfway through the heel flap. The yarn I'm using for this is Flottersocke Voorvach from Relana. Christmas sock. I think the color white is a little bit, um, yeah, it looks like it's uh, been in a wash too, too often. But yeah, maybe when the sock is ready, you uh, look look at it at a different in a different way. And um, I did here, I think, fourteen rounds on the cuff, two by two rib, sixty four stitches, and if, and for the rest, I'm a vanilla sock knitter. Sometimes I do a pattern, but normally I'm a vanilla sock knitter. That's what I like the most. So that is what I'm doing because there, that makes me happy. <laughs> Yeah, I put it in my little bag. It's a little bit different because the ball is a little bit big, so I have to watch out, but it fits perfectly. So I'm knitting Christmas socks also now in this hot weather, but I think when these are ready, I, uh, I will pause that for a moment. I was thinking of knitting Christmas socks all year, all year through, but yeah, it's uh, the, the the feeling is still a little bit different when it's cold and when it's Christmas time. It's nicer to do that. So I will finish these socks and uh, then uh, then we we'll choose another um, a little bit more. Um, yeah, what's f what's suiting this weather? Um, yeah, that was sock whip number two, and then I have another sock whip. I have only three sock whips on the moment, so that's really good. I couldn't resist to cast on a scrappy one. I love scrappy projects the most. That's my, yeah, that's the most, the, the knit I enjoy the very, very most. Sorry, hoe zeg je dat? Allerliefst. Um, I was knitting on my blanket, as we will show you later. Um, with lovely colors and then I thought I couldn't resist to make a scrappy sock to start a scrappy sock and I thought I'm not in a hurry if I do every day six rounds and then it, you put it away again so more like um, a um, process knit and uh, so uh, that's what I did and I think I started 10 days ago or so I don't know any anymore uh, I chose to do the um, carter stitch um, heel flap, then the, the heel turn and the spee. And now I'm today. I didn't do a square, so I didn't do my rounds yet. I will do that later today. I love scrappy socks, and uh, these balls are super nice. These balls I got from a knitting friend, Linda, from Wool Hobby. She, she gifted to me last year. I think it, they were 10, 10, I don't know anymore, 8 or 10 mini skeins from 20 grams in all the lovely colors. She watched at my mood board and uh, she picked all the colors from the mood board and made these uh, for me. So that was really nice. And now I'm using them in these socks and in my... Um, Cozy Memories blanket that I will show you later. Uh, same recipe, 14 rounds, 64 stitches, 2.25 millimeter needles, 20 centimeters from Knit Pro. These are my favorite DPN needles. I love it. I love DPNs. 
if you never tried it, um, I highly recommend it. This, I see people uh, knitting with a magic loop. And maybe that's really, when you're good at it, it's a really nice way. But I like this more. So magic loop, I... Um, no, I didn't... Uh, I didn't try it because I didn't like the way you have to... Every time put your uh, thread through the sock. And this gives me more space to knit on. Oh yeah, that was also a reason. When you've got four needles, you ha my hands are holding the sock like this. And I, with a magic loop method, I couldn't do that. So, so that's why I prefer deep ends. Um... Yeah, and then um, Saturday, la late in the evening, I got a uh, yeah I got a message from YouTube that uh, Jana from Finnish Knitting Stories had a new episode, and I thought oh I will keep it for Sunday morning when I'm uh, quietly waking up. I'm going to watch Jana. Uh, Jana is one of the f my favorite uh, knitting podcasts. She uh, everything she knits, I always get inspired. Not I'm not knitting everything what she knits, but she inspires me a lot to knit some things also. And she was knitting on the gnome. She had a new gnome ready, and I thought, oh yeah, now I feel I I feel like because it's warmer in the Netherlands to knit on little things, and uh, socks are always good, of course. But I had knitted with Christmas uh, this lovely gnome from the no gnome matter what call. I uh, only changed the nose. I didn't want a carrot nose. I want a snowman nose. So this one I finished, but the second one I didn't finish. So when I saw Jana's new gnome, I thought, oh, I can buy a new pattern, of course. So I was looking uh, at the new patterns, but then I thought, Yvonne, you have the, the head already. Why don't you make this one first? So you have don't have to buy anything yet. So I did. The hat I al already made, I think, uh, in December. And this piece of the shawl I did. Now I, um, this week I did the body. And uh, it made me realize that I love to knit uh, this model because it's like sock, sock knitting. And f uh, you divide them in four and um, it's in a round. It's not the, the little circumference. I like this more than... Uh, but yeah, like mush or agi. So then I thought, um, make this ready. So I have to do the the arms, the nose, and a piece of the scarf, and then this one's ready. And I already seen a new pattern. She's called imaginary landscapes, I think. When I think about it, I will. Uh, Share it in the in the description box, and um, I already sh saw a new pattern I like. That was the the wizard with a cape. So when this is finished, I will buy that pattern, and I will make another gnome. So uh, my gnomes, yeah, th these ones are little, but Jana's uh, gnome was uh, bigger. I like that a lot, but I did don't know if she did it with. Uh, a yarn held double or maybe with a DK yarn I don't know that but yeah we, we can try it of course to make it uh, with DK yarn and then look how big it is I want to uh, knit more gnomes I think it's uh, the f yeah how do you say that how do you fill it is mine's a little bit thick maybe there's too much in it I don't know this one's a little bit more Less, I didn't block this one, so this has to stand out, but it didn't work with me. And this one I blocked, but also <laughs> it's falling down, so um, I don't know how people get that, that it will stay like this, but I don't mind. I think they're super, super sweet, and I love to knit gnomes. So that is um, lives in my gnome bag. I 
also bought it at Birdie and Poppet a lot two years ago, I think. And now uh, this fits a little knit. Yeah, a little knit fits in here. Um. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I had to take a sip of my water. It's uh, my back hurts now, so I'm not sitting relaxed anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have a little bit done on the mush bear. I still don't like the way this uh, jacket is knitted. It's so stiff with the slipped stitches, and I think it, it, yeah, the yarn is too um, rustic for it. I knit it on this uh, sleeve for for the pajamas a little bit, but I don't like it. I'm not feeling to knit on this. It's really stiff. It's I don't know. So maybe I'll think about. Um, Knitting, I've got enough from this ball. Knitting a normal, um, uh, yeah, normal sleeve without slip stitches. Then I'm going to stripe the stripes the other way, because I don't like to knit on this, and then it will, yeah, it stays too long in my bag, and I don't get happy of it. So this is my scrappy project bag I made for me for myself. Super nice. So Mush's uh, pajamas is not ready yet. And uh, when I'm going to make his trousers, I will definitely do not this pattern. Because I don't like the slip stitch. It looks nice, but it's so not nice to knit. No, I'm, uh, I'm not a fan of that. So uh, this will be continued. Yeah, and then I have knitted on my... Stripometry shawl from Steven West. I finished part two, uh, yeah, part two, and now it's off the needles, and I have to start uh, section three when I pick it up again. I think I will do that today. I just start part three. Part three is the, I think, the nicest because it's one, uh, one row with a brown and the other row with a dark red and then um, yeah om and om uh, so that that's really uh, nice satisfying to knit on I think so yeah I'm uh, yeah I'm making progress I'm not in a hurry it's too hot anyway to to wear it so when it's done it's done we'll see that and I like the color choice and the yarn is <coughs> in this one yeah, maybe you didn't see my previous podcast. It's Isaga Highland Wool, and I got it. I bought it at Loop London when I was in London last January. 100% Highland Wool. And my colors are. If you can. Yeah, the dark red is wine. The. This one is so. Oh yeah, the the brown is soil and the this one is ro rosé, but that fell on the ground and I know that. So um, yeah, it's a, a different yarn that I used to. It's uh, very light, airy. I knit them on four millimeter needles. Uh, I'm not sure if there's yeah yeah in my chai chaigu 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 uh, fixed circulars this one is one of my uh, one of the favorites and um, yeah the pattern recommended three and a half but I liked four better because it's looser so yeah we'll see how it goes in about two weeks where I'm at it's a nice knit it's a simple knit it's not uh, too complicated and I love that and that lives in my quilting bag from Mika I told it before and uh, yeah it's a really 
not too big bag. I, I love uh, project bags. I'm a project bag lover also. Ta-da! Super nice. <laughs> so that's one shawl on my needles. And then I have another shawl. Also a mindless knit. This one I uh, improvised myself. This is um, a lovely yarn from Lana Grossa. It's called Puno Dui. I don't have the ball band here, sorry. This is uh, apricots, I think. And I am uh, ch yeah, changing colors with a uh, off-white or natural, I don't know. Sorry, I don't have the ball bands here, so I can't tell you. But this is a mindless knit. I love to knit on yeah, straight needles like we did in the, yeah, when I was young. This is also a, a needle four. Um, I cast it on 100 stitches and I'm changing colors after 24 rows. I've got three balls from this color and three balls from this color. And yeah, I'm going to knit it. Um, I think it's now long enough to do once, like so. <laughs> but I want to do it twice as long and then, yeah, see, seam, make a seam and then it's a, a, like a call shawl, a double call shawl. Yeah, this is really soft yarn. I knitted shawls before from this. It's, um, I think, oh, I didn't, don't have the ball bands. It's cotton with alpaca and a little bit um, wool. Merino wool, I think. So it's super soft and um, yeah, the the main ingredient is uh, alpaca. Nee, sorry, cotton. So uh, yeah, I I'm really a fan of this kind of knits. Yeah, it's super. Sometimes I just want to knit. Yeah, one one uh, normal row and then a pearl row. Normal row, pearl row. Yeah, that's super simple and um, sometimes you need that. In front of the TV or something else. I think I was here the last time I showed it. Put a progress keeper in so I will uh, put them up today and then the next time when I show it you can see my progress. So if you are a beginner knitter maybe it's a nice for you to uh, cast on 100 stitches on needle 4 and um, choose a nice lovely yarn you like in the same uh, yeah, same thickness and uh, make a lovely show for yourself. It's a yeah, a good practice for uh, beginner knitters. So we we say one one stockinette row and one um, pearl row. That's what you have to do. No, nothing fancy or yeah, it's not hard. So we, that is one of my. Uh, Knits that I knitted on. Um, then I have two blankets that I uh, actively knit on. I um, do try to do every day a, a square in my cozy memories blanket with hand or oh, with hand dyed yarns, not with uh, commercial sock yarns. Last time I showed you, I think I was here. I le le leave the, left it here, I think. So I did the blue. This one, this one, this one, and this one, and then I started here again with these four. Yeah, I'm trying to do every day. Sometimes I do two a day, and sometimes I do two days uh, nothing. But last, the last days I did every day a row, uh, of a square, and it's beginning to grow. Yeah, it's super nice. And I started this blanket last July with this square here in the corner. And um, yeah, I'm not in a hurry. I don't know how big I want it. I think a little bit like the other one I uh, knitted from scraps last year. Maybe you've seen it. Maybe you know my podcast longer, and uh, otherwise you can look at yeah, look it back. So that is uh, my one of my blankets that I'm actively knitting on on my needles and I love it. This this is one of the most, most favorite knits for me. Yeah, the, I always feel like I want to knit a square. I think I say that every week. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
my own, yeah, my first made project bag for myself. A dodgy bag, I love it. Then I have another one on my needles, and that is um, the Cozy Comfort Throw from uh, a homespun house. This pattern is also very beginner friendly. If you want to knit uh, and you have a lot of scraps, I am doing it with hand dyed scraps, the same as uh, the other one. Oh no, here it is. I was searching in the Dutch podcast for this little witch. This is what I did since I last uh, talked to you. This piece is not, not too much. But yeah, I have a lot of things on my needles. And this is when I feel it, I'm going to knit on this. And we'll see how long I will take to make one big blanket. The um, amount of stitches uh, yeah, the, you have to buy the pattern for it. And um, it's a, well, with a yarn held double, fingering weight held double. So that is, uh, yeah, that that's nice. But I, that I always want one blanket with a uh, yarn held single. So like the Cozy Memories blanket, and um, this one's double, and it makes a really squishy feeling. I love it. But in this one, I have my own rule that it has to be. And I yarn. I have in enough leftovers from minis and things. So that's uh, another whip, a uh, blanket whip that I worked on. Yeah, and the rest um, I have. Um, I did a little bit of sewing, of course. If you know, see my weekly vlogs, you will see. You see, you already see that I made one uh, brown project bag from this lovely fabric. From the thrift shop, there was a little piece. This piece was a, a cushion, child's cushion before, and I, uh, yeah, made a project bag of it. Now I've lined it with um, a cushion cover from an old, also a cushion. How say that now? An old cushion cover. And um, because this was a really sl sl yeah, soft fabric, I uh, lined it with um, flisseline. I is, yeah, you have to uh, iron it, it in so that it's a little bit uh, st yeah, sturdier, but it won't stand on itself because it's uh, too, uh, too floppy. <laughs> this is the... A lining, a uh, drawstring lining I used, and um, yeah, I really love it. I mean, it's a boxed bottom from eight centimeters, four on this side and four on that side. So uh, I love to make project bags from vintage uh, fabric what I found in thrift shops. So little pieces, everything I can use, and then I will, and I when I like the fabric, I will make project bags of it. That's what I like to do the most instead of buying new uh, fabric. And uh, yesterday it was so hot and I didn't want to knit on my uh, Christmas sock anymore. So then I went sewing, sewing this one. This uh, red fabric I also found for 30 cents in the thrift shop a few weeks ago and um, this was the... I made the bag as big as the, the fabric was, the width wa was this, and this is an old, um, yeah, for a baby, uh, from the Hema stuff, I love the roses, and the inside is the same, I had enough from that, so that, that's why I choose to do it the same, and the drawstrings are two different Shoe, uh, shoe strings, <laughs> so but I don't mind. And I made a, a strap on it so that I can uh, hold it like this, or uh, yeah, put it somewhere on, yeah, on a how say you that? Yeah, hang it somewhere. That sorry, I'm not coming out of my words really good. I don't know what that is. Have to talk English more, I think. So that's uh, my, it, there's nothing in it, it's really, yeah, I just filled it with something. 
I have to search a project uh, in this. I will make another one. I have a little piece uh, left. I think the half of what this is. And I will make another little one, but I'm thinking about a little um, toilet bag for me for myself. These bags you can also use when you are going camping and you have to take all your toilet stuff with you to the shower. So my one of my friends does that also and then she does everything in it. Uh, her toothbrush, her wash, yeah, things you need. In the shower and you can take it to the or when you're on a camping site or so so that's uh, also a good idea for this these project bags <laughs> i will thinking of making myself one for my holiday this year so we'll see but this one is going to be a project bag because i uh i like the fabric a lot maybe, yeah maybe i will use it as a toilet bag i don't know yet i love this a lot so that's what I did yesterday. I um, I watched lots of tutorials for how to make, yeah, to sew this, and uh, I'm getting yeah, I'm getting better and better in it. And I uh, I filled this one with the cotton fiber fill that's in it. It's a little bit not too thick, but a uh, little bit. It stands on its own. You can see. Look okay. there. So that's what I did yesterday. Sometimes when it's too hot, I'm going to sew. That's uh, that was last year summer. I did that too. So maybe I will make a few more. But um, now I'm go always going to uh, choose my fabric and uh, cut cut it already, and then do the sewing the day yeah after. Because sewing is for my back not the best cho choice. Because I'm always when I sit on this like. This chair is too long and my back going to hurt, so uh, I have to do that in pieces more and yeah, make one bag and then it's enough and then maybe the week after another. So sewing, I like sewing, but it's uh, for my body it's, uh, it's uh, harder. Knitting is better. Yes, and then I bought some yarn, of course. I was... Um, Planning to go to Amsterdam two weeks ago, but I couldn't because of my medicine and my back pain. And then I thought, oh, I want to buy something. So I thought, okay, then you can buy yarn online. So I bought a few balls of this lovely brand. This is also from Lana Grossa, Eco Puno. I knitted a, sh a scarf uh, yeah, in the beginning of my knitting again. And... Um, I thought I couldn't, uh, yeah, I was allergic for the yarn, so I gave that shawl away. And afterwards, it wasn't the yarn, it was something else. And I knitted uh, it with this yarn. So my wish was, uh, for years was, I want to buy this yarn again. So I had these four on a different side. Uh, oh no, that's not the truth. I'm not telling the truth. These four. I bought on one by Fischewolle. These were five euros uh, in the sale. So I have only four, three colors, two of the brown and the other ones one. This uh, yarn has um, 210 meters on it. So that's a re really a lot. If I can find it. But yeah, there's a 210 meters. Oh, 215 meters. I see it now. So it's a lot. And um, yeah, I want I want to make, maybe I want to make from these color palette uh, a Versus Unite for in the future. But I have to choose two colors more because um, the Versus Unite uh, contains five colors. So that's one of the ideas I've got. And I have another four. I bought it at a different site and these four I have that that was the color palette of the shawl I knitted for when yeah, I sold it to my friend and uh, there was a camel with it another camel color and I want to make the same shawl maybe again for myself so it's just a color block shawl with uh, yeah like this so on straight needles 
120 stitches I think you have to cast on with uh, yeah with uh, needle four but I have to buy another one uh, with this but yeah maybe that's what I will do in the win in winter time again so it's n I'm not in a hurry but yeah I have the yarn already and that's the most important I will I will yeah I felt so such a pity that I couldn't go and I thought uh, when I did go to Amsterdam I was uh, I was going to Stephen and Penelope's, but that uh, didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been there before, so that was not so, such a pity. But um, yeah, I thought when I was, yeah, went that day away, um, I uh, it costed me money. So that uh, was a little bit, uh, yeah, like a, how do you say that now? It was trost. I wanted to buy something to feel better. <laughs> and I bought this bowl, Landlust, the Sockenwolle. I love these colors and I choose one of these also. So that was my purchase for uh, for this two, yeah, two weeks ago I purchased this. I would like to knit this sock, but I want to make, <laughs> I want to finish things first. So that is, uh, that is that. And um, yeah, I think that was it for for the knitting and uh, everything I did last week. It's uh, very hot now. Got here a little bit uh, red. I think that that yeah, it's um, itchy. Yeah, I told in the Dutch version of my podcast. Um, I want to make some summer knits. But I'm not a garment knitter, so I don't want to knit myself a tee. Yeah, maybe I will in the future, but not on this moment. But uh, two years ago I made this, um, yeah, it's a triangle, but it's a hat, a uh, hoofdoekje. Triangle, yeah, how do you say it? Like um, for your head, when you're on the beach and your hair is, so, yeah, um, going every side but the right side of or uh, yeah blues in your eyes so then I thought I make um yeah that's not good well I make an uh half to keep for me oh yeah <laughs> so when I was uh on holiday then I bought a ball of cotton it's a little it's a bit bit thicker yarn and I make this hat, <laughs> but yeah, like a bandana. My mother always did it uh, when we were younger, when we were children, with the, uh, yeah, with a cotton uh, fabric. But uh, this holds your your hair back, and um, yeah, it was nice to make in uh, in that. I don't know if it uh, looks right. <laughs> it looks a little bit stupid, but yeah, it, it, the the meaning is that your hair doesn't blow air. For your face and you're sitting on the beach, la la la. But this one's a little bit too big, I think. Maybe I have to make an, an, a new one. So that's what I maybe I'm going to do this summer. This one was a thick yarn, and um, maybe I have to choose, yeah, in less stitches that it's a little bit uh, stärker, stärker. Um Yeah, and I from this ball I didn't have enough, so I put another color on. But it was a nice knit. I know I did it in a in a in that house we were that summer. <laughs> so that's one summer knit. And I did three years ago. I made a really big triangle. It's um, a, a really big ball, also from Lana Grossa, and it's called Gomitelo. You have, uh, yeah, they change the color themselves. And I made a really big triangle. You get a pattern with it. And uh, I did the eyelids myself. And I bought uh, yeah, another ball with it. And then I made it uh, bigger. So you can use this as a shawl. Or a, yeah, or you can use it on the beach when you're going to the toilet. You can yeah, wrap it around yourself. So... Uh, 
that was one of my summer knits from three years ago and it was a really nice knit and I, I did the eyelids um, 12 rows uh, stockinette and then a, an eyelid row because that was giving me oh yeah I'm I'm at the eyelids already and then you think it's going to go quicker I you know, the eyelids was not in the pattern but I uh, thought of it myself and I think it's a really nice nice one so I washed it this week this is a cotton it's uh, there's no um, I don't know there's no wool in it it's cotton with I think maybe polyester or something but it was really nice yarn to knit with so, and I loved the, the color combination so that's that was one of my summer knits from three years ago so maybe I will make another summer knit or a bandana yeah so that is what I have to tell this week um, I always make the headbands for Cindy <laughs> that was also uh, where I got it from yeah this uh, was everything for this week and I want to thank you for watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up or give it a comment I love to read it I um, I passed 800 uh, subscribers so that's really nice um, when I have thousand subscribers I will make uh, a giveaway I'm thinking of making a project bag and um, some other goodies but yeah I have to reach the thousand first so if you're not already um, subscribed to this channel please do if you liked it of course and uh, next week I'm back with a weekly vlog and the week after with a, a podcast, knitting podcast. So um, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, knit a lot, I should say. And uh, see you uh, in about two weeks. Doei!